There, there was one. Is, do you feel like there was a a moment, um, or maybe you haven't felt that yet? I don't know. Uh, that you made it. That this is mm-hmm. you know. And I think that what I notice in a lot of uh, successful people is that they never really feel like they quote unquote made it. And you yeah. you probably strike me as someone who um, I hope you know is satisfied to an extent. But you'll never you know a lot of the a lot of the top dogs always always want a little bit more. Um, is there how, how do you gauge that? Yeah, I definitely would, don't feel like I've made it by any chance or any stretch of the imagination because my my goals are so far beyond where I am currently. Um, but that being said, there's been some cool there's been some cool moments that I've I've looked back on. Like um, when I was working for Invicta, Dana came to one of the fights, and I didn't even know he was coming it was like this last minute thing because it was a time where chris cyborg was still fighting for invicta but the ufc was helping uh support her career in invicta to help build her up so dana was interested in coming uh the fertita brothers were there as well and i didn't even know at the time like how big of a deal that was i mean i knew it was a big deal but looking back i didn't know how big of a deal that was and my producer told me he's like hey dana's coming tonight um you should interview him. And this was like, the card has already started. Like the fights are already underway. I'm already in the midst of doing post-fight interviews. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Uh, Yes, that would be amazing. Long story endless. uh, They try to send me to go find him in between fights and the cameraman's supposed to meet me there and have this interview. I find him, the cameraman is nowhere to be seen. (laughs) For a lo- And I don't have talk back on my mic. I have no way to communicate with uh, the truck. And we're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And now I know, like, you do not make Dana wait. You just don't. It's rude. He's got too much shit to do. He's a nice guy. But, like, that is the biggest no-no in the UFC world. You do not make Dana wait. I made that poor man wait at least eight minutes, which is an eternity. Wow. When you're just That's like, a long time. Oh, so, how are you? You know? Um but he was so gracious about it and gracious to all the fans that were coming up to him and after that interview i i said to him i said i i want to work for you one day um i want to work in the i want to work in the ufc and i want to be you know part of the ufc broadcast so you said that to him i said it right to him and what's crazy is like i really hadn't hadn't planned on saying it i didn't have like this big i'm gonna meet dana and then this is gonna happen and then i'm gonna say this like what just what came about in that, I don't, this is going to sound so cheesy, but like in that interview, I, I did, I was like, I belong here. Like I should be, I belong talking to this man and I know I can do this and I know I can do more of it and I know I can do it at a higher level than I currently am. And so I just said it and it was kind of brazen of me to say, um, especially considering I think that was like only my fifth Invicta show like I just started talking on television I didn't go to school for this right Right. um and then you know nothing happened for a while nothing well what was his reaction when you said that he was really kind about it he's he's like uh I'm trying to remember exactly how he phrased it he said it was a little bit of like a pat answer you know he's like well you know just just keep keep doing what you're doing we'll keep we'll keep an eye on you or something like that you know he was nice about it but it wasn't like a yes i see star potential in you come work for me tomorrow it was not that you know at all but he was super nice about it and i remember the next time that i interviewed him as a ufc employee uh it was when they opened the ape no it was when they opened the pi i was like part of their opening ceremony thing and they were putting together like a corporate video and so i interviewed him and afterwards i said i was like do you remember me and he said yeah i do i said do you remember what i said to you he said yeah i remember what you said he said welcome to the team and i was like ah (laughs) thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't done so already please make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at felix.levine and if you have something to say please leave a comment